For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Saturday, March 13th marked one year of the murder of Breonna Taylor. Massive demonstrations seeking justice for Breonna were held in major cities of the United States, including in Louisville, where she was shot dead by police. In New York City, a die-in protest was organized at Times Square. In Washington, D.C., a candlelit vigil was organized. Justice has not been served because Breonna Taylor has billboards, she has signs named after her, she has foundations, but she has no justice. She was murdered in her sleep and no one convicted nobody for her, for her slaughter. Justice would be to surrender and give all those people that murdered her, those three men, those three police officers in Louisville, Kentucky, they need to be in jail and justice will not be served because it doesn't stop with Breonna Taylor. She is one of many of millions that are being murdered by the federal government. Breonna Taylor, a 20 six year old emergency medical technician was shot dead by police in her apartment on March 13th, 2020, in an alleged drug raid. Her murder sparked an immediate backlash and mobilizations that were further strengthened after the murder of George Floyd on May 25th. Last September, another round of protests broke out when a jury in the U.S. state of Kentucky refused to charge the three officers involved in the fatal shooting of Taylor. Instead of a murder indictment, as was requested by Taylor's family and supporters in a lawsuit claiming wrongful death, the jury only sanctioned indictment against one of the officers for supposedly endangering the lives of the victim's neighbors with police firing. The pigs batted her door and ambushed her home. Believing there was an intruder in the apartment because no announcement was made, Kenneth, Cal Kenneth Walker awoke and fired one round, injuring an officer. In response, Brianna was shot eight times. On March 12th, Taylor's partner, Kenneth Walker, filed a federal lawsuit against the Louisville Metro Police Department, as well as the officers involved in the execution of the no-knock warrant that resulted in Taylor's death. It was during this raid that Walker fired at the cops in self-defense, thinking them to be intruders. The cops fired back, which ended up in Taylor's murder. Though he was charged with attempt to murder, it was finally dropped last month. There have also been accusations that a biased jury handled the case. The jury was impaneled by Kentucky State Attorney General Daniel Cameron, who was from the Republican Party. The family's lawsuit was rejected by the jury, despite the fact that forensics had found six bullets on Taylor's body. The jury also decided to let off Jonathan Mattingly and Miles Cosgrove, who had shot 20 rounds at Taylor and her partner inside her apartment. It was also established that Cosgrove's bullet had killed Taylor. Hankinson, on the other hand, was not even present inside the apartment when the killing took place. However, he is the only one of the three accused officers to have faced termination from his job. When I think about Breonna Taylor, it's more than just police brutality. This mask with her name on it represents multiple pandemics that we're in. The pandemic that we're in against black women as we're murdered every time we go to a doctor, or as we're murdered if we're pulled over by a police officer, or even if they knock or don't knock on our doors. This mask represents the struggle that black women go through all the time. Social movements and progressive organizations have reiterated that justice was not served in Taylor's case, and they will keep fighting till all their demands are met.